You know what's annoying? Accidentally dropping your sword into your composter system. Like, I don't even know what happened. I was just like dumping a bunch of seeds in there and I just like accidentally threw my sword into the top. Although, you know what's also annoying? My bees. My bees have been bugging out for a while. Um, no, no pun intended. <laughs> um, they've just been like standing here in front of their hive. Like, I just, every once in a while, I just have to like come up to them and like nudge them. And it happens every single time they leave their hive. It's so annoying. And that means I've only been able to get four pieces of honey blocks or four honey blocks in like a month. It's been like a month, two months, maybe. I had a super cool idea this episode to make like this slime block honey, like flying machine gate uh, for my warrior village over there that I was at in the last episode. Um, but because of this, um, it's gonna take like ages. It'd probably take me like, I think I need, I think I count, I need 40 blocks of honey for the design I've, I've made. Yeah, I've, I've mocked up the whole thing in the creative world and it'd take like a year <laughs> to get all the honey I need. Um, and I haven't really been staking out here. I just kind of been like nudging them whenever I walk by and I see them like that But seriously that'd take like forever <laughs> So, um, I kind of want to fix that in this episode and in this episode I want to make a bee farm. Um, that's gonna be able to get me all the honey I need and oh wait. Oh, what's this? Oh, whoa, there's like a soul torch over here. Oh, whoa, there's like this super cool cave that's just kind of appeared by itself and I, okay I'm gonna I'm a terrible actor but anyway I uh, I dug out this little um, place down here and hopefully I want to be able to expand this out um, more um, to make just like a bunch of little passive um, farms um, so that this can be kind of like a cool little I don't know like magic looking fairy growth garden place I'm not sure if that made any sense whatsoever <laughs> But before I make a bee farm, I actually need bees. Now, I do have these two up here, so I guess I could um, I guess I could breed these guys. All right, so let's breed these guys right here. Are they going to follow me since I have flowers in my hand? Oh, they're just going to... No, they're just going to stay put. They're still... They're, they're looking at me, but they're still staying put. Do I, like, actually have to, like, physically push them? Wow, that is, like, super, super annoying. Okay, uh, okay, let's let them breed, and then I'm going to grab my little baby bee. Excuse me, move. Oh, man, this is really annoying with the controller. Did I grab? Oh, I grabbed the uh, adult bee. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, I just want to grab you. Oh, gosh. Come on. And there we go. Okay, we got our little baby bee. Um, and then once these guys can breed again, I'll get another one. Okay, I'll just, like, um, loop this bee up over here. Um, just so he's out of the way and not like attracted to all the flowers and stuff um, over there because I don't want him claiming that beehive as his own and then like the farm just not being able to work. Now I have to remember, how do you make beehives again? Is it honeycombs? Do you need honeycombs to make them? Yes, um, I didn't actually see the crafting recipe but uh, that did take all my honeycombs. So I only have three, um, which means I'm gonna have to um, probably just like shear this thing a few times um, to get all the leaves I need but I'm also gonna have to like come up here and just like keep nudging them out of the way um, because I want to get at least like five of these beehives. I guess I could do it with one but I'm not sure how many bees uh, can go in one beehive. I'm pretty sure there's a limit. I do have another one here though so that's pretty good. I'm gonna need some dispensers and dispensers are the most obnoxious thing to craft. They are so annoying um, because you need like full-fledged bows um, to do it, so I'm just gonna have to like <laughs> fill up my inventory with like all these bows. Now my goal for this underground area is just to make everything like look nice and magical like there's nothing, there's no redstone involved. Obviously there will be redstone, but I kind of want it like all to be just like super hidden. Um, so that's kind of like the goal of um, all the farms in here. So I'm gonna put the dispensers right here and then I'm gonna put the beehives um, underneath it. Um, now I only have two uh, right now, but um, I guess I can um, I guess I can use these jack-o-lanterns <laughs> um, as um, as a uh, replacement for now. Um, so I can just put these um, put these down here <laughs> like this. And one thing I actually found out um, you could do is you can actually grow these flowering azaleas and you'll get these trees. Um, now the wood's still oak wood, but the leaves are actually um, these like azalea leaves um, and you can shear them and the bees will actually pollinate using these flowered leaves. Um, and now I just realized I need shears, but I don't have any iron on me. 
Okay, well, I guess I'm going to have to have to attack this guy. Oh, no. Um, I did actually find out that you can also... Um, these guys can't cross rails. So I can, like, hit this guy. And just he can just, like, chase me around the rails. And just can't hit me. It's so hilarious. And it's... Oh, a, uh, I was about to say a <laughs> risk-free way of uh, getting iron from iron golems. But um, obviously that didn't work out very well. And he's still alive? I could have sworn I saw him die on my uh, my death screen. I, didn't, I thought he like tipped over, um, but I guess um, I guess not. So I guess I can just, just try this again. Now if, I'm, if I do it, I don't need... I was about to say, if you do it right, you don't need any armor. And I swear, I've, I've done this off camera, like, flawlessly. And it's so cool. And it's so kind of just hilarious to watch it. But obviously, this Iron Golem is not having it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> oh boy, let's just make it let's make this pair of shears that I died for a few times now. <laughs> and, oh wait, did I... Oh, I actually had some iron on me. I had some of the raw stuff. I need to I need to remember that the raw stuff exists now. So anyway, as I was talking about, um, you can shear these flowering azalea leaves. And, oh, I don't have any inventory space on me. I have two eyes of ender on me. Why Why do I just have eyes of ender on me? Like, oh, hello, hello zombie. Okay, you guys are you guys are just burning. It's fine. <laughs> I, I, I went to the end in the last episode, but I guess I just, like, kept some eyes of ender on me. Alright, so I'm just going to put some glowstone down here, um, as well as some moss carpets. Hopefully this doesn't... I really I really don't think this will stop the bees from being able to come out of their um, hive. If not, I can just like, put some normal mulch down. Or not mulch, um, that's my pickaxe's name. Um, <laughs> normal moss down, um, just to um, just uh, keep them in. Because I'm also going to put some glowstone um, here in the sides, like this. Um, so that it, the light can kind of shine through the azalea leaves. So I'm gonna put these flowering azalea leaves down um, Here and then the bees will like I said the bees will be able to actually f uh, Pollinate on these things. Now I'm not gonna put any glass here yet because I don't have any bees yet um, Which is a little bit of a problem So I'm just gonna do the redstone back here really quick and it's pretty it's pretty simple if you know how like comparators work basically I'm just gonna have comparators behind these um, beehives. Um, beehives, when they're full, give off a power of five. Um, so I'm just gonna put like one, two, three, four, five pieces of redstone back there, and then just gonna that's gonna power up the um, dispensers when the blocks are full. Now I just need the crafting table. Um, I also need some sticks. I know I have some sticks in here and a crafting table. <laughs> For some reason, um, I'm just gonna drop my eyes of Ender in there in my little farm chest. I'm, I have, I have some of the worst. I tell you, I have some of the worst <laughs> storage or management skills ever in uh, in Minecraft. I just, I just like leave random stuff everywhere. So I'm just gonna put a row of repeaters right, or not repeaters, uh, comparators back here. One, two, three, four. Five, or that's, that was four or five, um, just like right here, like this. Um, and then another row of repeaters. I could also use target blocks because redstone um, trails can just go um, directly into target blocks, but I don't have any right now. So I'm just going to have like a row of repeaters up here. Again, don't have enough repeaters. Um, they're just going to feed into uh, the dispensers up there. I'm going to fill these up with um, iron, or not iron, uh, glass bottles. Um, they're going to they're gonna be able to um, uh, get all the honey out of the beehives down here. Um, and then down here, I'm going to have a row of uh, hoppers. Also don't have any <laughs> um, to uh, feed into a chest. Um, that's probably just going to be right around... Uh, probably right down here. So, anyway, that's um, not quite complete. I was about to say that's the whole thing. Um, complete. It's completely explained at least. I'll I'll say that. Um, because but I just don't have a lot of the materials I need to build it right now. But I also don't have any bees to fit in this thing right now. So it doesn't need to work right this second. Okay. So <laughs> road sent torches right here. Road red sent road red. Blah, 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 blah. I can't speak. Wow. I think I am short one repeater, which is gonna be so obnoxious <laughs> one repeater i was literally just short like one piece of smooth stone uh let me just like fix that really quick okay repeater 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 right here okay so now when a one of those um oh didn't mean to do that when one of those hives are full it'll put a charge up to the um this redstone torch right here which will activate the dispenser which i will fill with glass bottles i guess the best way to do that would probably just be like 
I might just have to like come up here every once in a while to like break all these blocks and fill this up um, with glass bottles so that they can actually um, function correctly. But yeah, that is literally like all the redstone complete. Um, I just need to put some hoppers down there to make a collection system, but um, you guys don't need to see that because I bet you guys have seen that a million times before. Um, so this is all done. Um, basically, I just need some uh, more beehives, which I'm just going to have to wait for because my bees are so, so obnoxiously slow. So yeah, I'll just have to finish it off camera because I bet you guys just don't want to watch me waiting here for like the next two hours waiting for my bees um, to um, give me um, some honey. All right, so with that done for now, I, I want to move over here because... Um, I've had this idea for a while, um, and that's I want to make a big villager um, trading hall for like all my enchantments. Just have like a bunch of librarian villagers, um, but I didn't want to have just like a generic like trading hall like you've seen a million times. Um, and I've also really wanted to do something with the village. Um, I kind of want to make it feel more lived in, um, and um, also just like bigger. I just want to like grow it. So I want to build like a bunch of like little li little buildings, um, like maybe a blacksmith for the blacksmith villagers um, and like a, a little hut, like a fisherman's hut for the fishermen, um, just to kind of make this town feel more lived in, but also like to build stuff that's actually like really functional. So today I want to build a library um, for all my um, librarian villagers. And the basic idea of it is, is the bottom floor is going to be just decorative. It's going to have like a bunch of rows of bookshelves and stuff. But then the top floor is going to be like a balcony where all my librarian villagers um, will live and just kind of have like their little pods um, to give me all the librarian book trades I need. So without further ado, I'm just going to start off um, building this thing. So the outside is all done and I also started a bit of work on the inside. Um, there's a bunch of glowstone underneath these carpets just to kind of add some light in which I really like. Um, I'm going to add some bookshelves in here later and, and like a fireplace over here for like reading um, and like a front desk and stuff. But I really didn't want to do that like on a time lapse. Um, but I did um, get started up here on the second floor. This is where all the villages will actually be and there's going to be like just pods like uh, against the wall. And I really like how this turned out. I really like this balcony sort of thing. Um, and I also really love this skylight. My actual, my library here at home actually has a skylight uh, kind of like this, so it's just kind of what inspired it. So yeah, I'm really happy with this. And once we actually get some decoration in here, um, it should be really, really cool. But right now, I think we should probably focus on getting the villagers up here. Um, now, the best way to probably do that would be to kind of probably just airdrop them in. <laughs> I could probably set up a minecart track and just kind of dump them through the ceiling right here. Um, and then actually I should probably block off the staircase so that they can't escape um, because that would uh, that would be kind of bad. So I'm going to go ahead and temporarily block off this staircase um, right here and uh, go find some villagers. I don't have to look very far though because I noticed as I was building this thing that um, there have been a few villagers that are just kind of making this little outpost thing i don't i i made this like in the middle of a raid just because i needed to get out, off the ground and it's kind of stuck here um but there's there's always like one or two up here but like for some reason what, what was this now seven yeah like there's like seven of them that have just kind of like come up here and they've just kind of been hanging out but that does make it really easy for me to just kind of get them across to the thing i can just make a minecart track over to the roof of that and then these seven should probably be enough to just start breeding um, more villagers over there to fill up the rest of the however however many I need I don't remember how many enchantment books there are oh hello are you trying to are you trying to get to that guy up there yeah you, you can't reach him I, I hope you know that you know I, I remember saving a villager up there uh, at one point but uh I guess I, I don't know if it's the same one or, or another one just like came back up but um I guess I guess that's like a just a nice spot for villagers to hang out I think I've actually seen another one yeah there's a second one up here too all right um 
Yeah, I'll let you guys. I'll let you guys just chill up there. At least, at least you're safe. Okay, so let's use one of my favorite glitches in the game. Mojang, Mojang, please don't ever patch this. This makes it so much easier to deal with, like literally anything in the game, but especially villagers. <laughs> so I just need to get a boat. I just need to get one of them in the boat. Come on, can you go in the boat, please? There you go. I just need to get one of you in here. Oh, please don't, please don't nudge me off the edge. Okay, I just need to get one of you in here. Come on, dude, get in the boat. Oh, come on, it's like, cause it's not so hard. Come on, I just need one of you to walk up here and get in the boat. Oh, hey, we got a volunteer. All right, so now, if you, whoa, okay, my control just glitched a little bit. Now, if you put a minecart in there, it automatically just starts going. <laughs> you don't need any powered rails whatsoever. It just keeps on going, which saves you a lot of gold. Now, hopefully, he should have made it into the library. I saw him go down the hole, but hopefully, he's in a good spot where he's not, like, suffocating or anything. Hello? Hey, he's fine. All right, so now I can just safely break this away. And no, I didn't mean to hurt you. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, but he can't actually run away because he can't, unlike me, um, he can't jump up onto these fences and I blocked off the staircase. So, all right, that's one down and let's just get all the other ones down over here. That was just as easy as I was hoping it would be. All right, <laughs> look, at, I'm actually looking forward to moving villagers for once. I, you, you almost never are. Uh, I did not mean to do that. Oh, get out of the boat. No, this is... This is becoming, uh, this is becoming a little bit dangerous. I don't want the iron golems to get mad at me all of a sudden. Well, oh, I didn't mean to put that on. Um, <laughs> oh, you can do it two at once. Oh, I really thought that you could only have one villager in the boat at a time. Oh, that makes things so much faster. Well, um, this guy died for nothing then. <laughs> oh, but they don't fit into the hole just as easily. Oh, nope. Okay, well, never mind, never mind, they're fine, they're fine. All right, cool, the last two guys are up here. All right, now I can just um, start putting some beds up here. I don't have any beds on me right now, but um, I can just do that outside of episode. And uh, these guys are like, <laughs> what's going on? They have like a conga line or something over here. Well, cool, I'm glad they like it so much up there because uh, they're gonna live there forever. But I can get all that stuff set up in the next episode. Right now, I've got some bees. And so I've got enough that I can just start bringing them down to the farm and then breed them like outside of episode. Um, so at least I can get started on the honey production. All right, let's go. You guys are gonna enjoy this. I hope I, I, I hope you will. So hopefully these guys will just go straight for the hives. Um, so if I take them off the leads, yeah, they're all pollinizing on the uh, this uh, flowering azalea bush. Um, so once they do that, hopefully they don't start going to the one up on top. Um, I'm gonna probably block up this staircase just in case they do try to do that. Um, but hopefully they should really just, uh, okay, one's got one's got some pollen on it. They're kind of flying around aimlessly. They don't really see the, the hives right there. Okay, I've got this completely blocked off so they shouldn't go um, heading to try to get to the one up top, but hopefully they should recognize these. Okay, let's try let's try leading you over um, here. Come on, these are these are your new hives. These this is your new home. Come on, go inside. Go inside. Are you not going on because of the lead? Oh come on. Uh, I hope it's is it the moss carpets? I don't think it should be the moss carpets, but I was afraid that might be from. Oh oh, he's going for it. He's going for it. Come on. No, you can just you can fly over the bush. You got you've got massive wings. You can go over the bush. Come on, get inside your beehives. Yeah, these guys are trying to get to the one up top, I think. Oh no, okay, come on, come on. You get, you, he seems to at least be up looking at the beehives right here. Come on, get inside. Come on, it's right here. Come on, you, you like, re okay, one of them got in. One of them got in, okay. Uh, maybe if I just like block them off. I don't have any glass right now. I was hoping to have some glass up the front here, but... Um, hopefully if I can just like get these guys in here and then block up the glowstone they might uh, they might be f more open to getting into the hive okay let's get you off the leash don't go flying away don't go flying away please no 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 you are not oh no no they're both flying away no <laughs> oh man I I hate and love minecraft bees with a passion <laughs> all right so I'm just gonna let them, I can just break the leads by walking away. All right, so I'm just gonna let them get used to their new home in there, uh, whether they like it or not. I was, one of, one of them likes it, but the other one, um, the other two aren't really, uh, aren't really confident yet that this is, uh, they're gonna like this place, but um, they will eventually. But anyway, I think I'm going to call for this video. We got some good progress done, and hopefully in the next few episodes we can start working on that um, slime piston uh, gate thing I was talking about and get some, myself an elytra because I've been wanting one of those for a while. Um, I have been building everything relatively close together, but like to get to the warrior village and then also like the uh, haunted village over there, um, yeah, it is, it is a bit of a walking distance, and I, got through, I go through a lot of potatoes. <laughs>
So with that, I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you too enjoyed as well, just kind of watching the chaos. <laughs> and uh, I will see you in the next one. Bye!